For the first time, scientists have discovered evidence of phosphorus in an ocean not on Earth. In the vastness of the cosmos where mysteries abound, and the unknown beckons a revelation of cosmic proportions, has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. China, at the forefront of lunar exploration, has stumbled upon something that defies all expectations. A discovery so strange, so enigmatic, it has left scientists around the world dumbfounded. What did China find on the moon? And why does it hold the key to unlocking the secrets of the cosmos? Join us as we embark on this journey to unravel the mysteries of the moon, where China's groundbreaking discovery sends shockwaves through the scientific community. Back in the 9th century, some clever minds in China threw the coolest rocket bash ever, setting the stage for the epic firework shows and the whole rocket deal we love today. Fast forward to the late 1950s when China decided, why not explore space? They caught a ride with the Soviet Union, who were also into space vibes. But then the Soviet Union did a disappearing act. On April 24, 1970, they proudly tossed their first satellite into orbit. From there, they took it slow and steady, climbing the tech ladder until they hit the lunar jackpot in 2007. Chang'e W, China's lunar explorer, did a fancy swing into lunar orbit just 12 days after liftoff. At first, not many people noticed, but when Chang'e spilled the lunar tea, the whole world gave China a round of applause for its space journey. China didn't stop at lunar fame. They built their own space hangout, like a cosmic clubhouse to rival the ISS. This space station became the newest modular play zone, and China was getting ready to lead the charge into the interstellar unknown. People were starting to notice that China was making serious waves in the cosmic scene. China's lunar adventure just got a lot more interesting. Chang'e 2, on its lunar stroll, stumbled upon something out of this world on the moon's mysterious dark side. Chinese snapshots spilled the beans on a weird orange-yellow goo, setting off shockwaves in the scientific world. People started asking, is there life on the moon? The Chinese, though, kept their lips sealed, leaving everyone with a bunch of unanswered questions. Chang'e 2, on the other hand, was soaking up the spotlight, earning its bragging rights for boldly exploring the moon's shadowy backstage. Back on Earth, ground control had a cosmic challenge, maneuvering around the whole lunar body, acting as a gatekeeper. The Chinese National Space Administration cracked the global code, solving a major communication puzzle with some celestial finesse. In 2018, they took off 39 times, beating America's 31 and Russia's 20 launches. In early 2019, China pulled off a seriously cool move. On January 3rd, they dropped a rover on the mysterious dark side of the moon. It's like scoring a cosmic touchdown in the world of space exploration. Doug Ellison, a brainier at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab, got his mitts on the snapshots, and he turned them into some jaw-dropping panoramic shots. China's got their eyes set on the moon, and they're not playing small. Orbits around the moon spilled the beans that its two faces are like day and night. The side waving at us is rocking some flat lunar seas, while the other side is a wonderland draped in craters. It's like having two moons in one. The mysterious far side of the moon, veiled in secrets, appears to be wearing a thicker cosmic cloak compared to its closer counterpart. Imagine astronomers excited about this lunar enigma, a serene sanctuary away from Earth's radio chatter, a celestial silent retreat. This unexplored zone serves as a perfect stage for observing the celestial theater, stars and galaxies taking center stage, like a cosmic time machine revealing the birth and growth of astronomical wonders. The lunar detective, the rover. It's not just any ordinary rover, it's loaded with gadgets, ready for a moon photo shoot. Equipped with top-notch gear to measure radiation and a spectrometer that captures mind-blowing radio astronomy images, it's on a lunar treasure hunt to uncover hidden minerals and decipher the intricate dance between the sun's particle wind and the moon's surface. This whole lunar adventure is part of China's moon party. First, they sent spy missions to scope things out from above, and later, they're getting down and dirty with Chang'e 4. But it doesn't end there. Chang'e 5 and Chang'e 6 are gearing up for the ultimate souvenir grab, 
planning to snatch rocks and dirt from the moon's surface and bring them back to Earth. The Chang-4 mission's space ride, named after a Chinese moon goddess, kicked off on December 7 with a powerful Long March 3B rocket from the Chang Launch Center in the southwest. Since December 13, it's been zipping away from Earth's cosmic companion, making sure its communication and data skills are top-notch. After landing, it embarked on a mission to explore the untouched realms of space and conduct some science experiments. Chinese scientists dropped a bombshell in their report, revealing a surprising find by the moon rover U-22 in a lunar crater. As they examined images, comparing them with Apollo samples, they stumbled upon a classic moon rock with a twist. It had gone gooey, likely from a meteoric smooch. It's a dark green shiny mass that's more glassy than our grandma's fancy wear. This lunar surprise, unveiled in July 2019, adds a fascinating twist to our understanding of the moon's composition. This weird thing on the moon caught some eyes because it got labeled as kind of strange. Instead of the regular dirt we'd find on the moon, it's this jelly-like, glassy substance. The people trying to figure it out had a bit of trouble because the lunar light wasn't playing nice. It made it hard to see things clearly, and they could only pin down about 38% of these classes of rocks. This glassy stuff didn't really stand out from the rest of the moon dirt. It kind of blended in, giving the impression that it's just another part of the lunar landscape. This moon oddity isn't just your regular space debris. It's got a mysterious dark green color, making it stand out from the usual moon dust. It's not huge, measuring about 5260 cm. Some smart people from the Chinese Academy of Sciences tell the secret in a scientific paper, calling it a dark greenish glowing impact melt brescia. They found it in the von Karman crater, chilling on the far side of the moon, away from all the action. These researchers compare snapshots from moon rovers with samples from the American Apollo missions. This greenish thing looked a lot like the Apollo samples. That got them thinking. It might have formed in a wild, lunar collision that went down on December 1, 2020. The Changi 5 mission recently wrapped up an amazing lunar touchdown after a 23-day space adventure. A dynamic duo of probes took off like a skyrocket from the Wenchang spacecraft launch site in China's Hainan province. This launch site, a real action-packed hub, has sent off not only Chang'e 5 but also its predecessors like Chang'e 3, tons of satellites, and even the building blocks for the Chinese space station. After a successful separation from its orbiter companion, Chang'e 5's lander gracefully set foot in a lunar hotspot known to scientists as the Ocean of Storms. This vast, flat region near the lunar equator hangs out on the far side of the moon, showing off its extreme breadth and the close company of the towering 5,250 feet high Mons. The Chang'e 5 mission wasn't just a joyride, it had a laser-focused objective. This interstellar explorer, weighing in at nearly 8 tons, embarked on a quest to snag lunar samples and haul lunar rock back to Earth. It was the first time in four decades that such extraterrestrial goodies were making a comeback trip to our home planet. Some mind-blowing findings hinted that the moon might be even weirder than we thought. Some people even dared to dream that the moon was hiding a treasure trove of minerals, like a cosmic jackpot that could solve our energy crisis. There's this mission that sent a drill on a spacecraft to orbit the moon. This drill carefully scooped up samples from deep within the moon's surface, People all around the globe held their breath, anxiously waiting as the spacecraft, after just 14 days, started its journey back to Earth. China pulled off a major win with this mission. They officially joined the cool club of nations that know their way around space. The whole world threw a celebration party for this achievement. Meanwhile, scientists were practically on the edge of their seats, eagerly waiting for the lunar samples to return. International researchers were buzzing with excitement, and the moon spilled its secrets like a gossiping confidant. It offered new perspectives and groundbreaking insights that blew everyone's minds way beyond what they had imagined. Fast forward to December 17, 2020. The return capsule made a grand entrance into Earth's atmosphere. It gracefully touched down in the vast, almost empty landscapes of Mongolia, bringing those precious samples back safe and sound. With eager anticipation, the experts swiftly immersed themselves in their task, driven by a palpable sense of excitement. The burning question hung in the air like a tantalizing mystery. 
Would the drilling efforts confirm the current theories about the moon's origin, or was there a surprise waiting in the lunar depths? Before the capsule even touched Earth, certain astronomers had already started connecting the dots, envisioning the potential revelations hidden within the samples. According to these thinkers, a colossal collision occurred over four billion years ago when a Mars-sized planet collided with Earth. This cataclysmic event set the stage for the Moon's creation. In the chaotic aftermath of this celestial clash, a fragment of our planet broke free, enveloped in molten rock until this very moment. Up until now, the prevailing belief held that the intense temperatures of that era had wiped away any traces of water. The Moon, in our collective imagination, was a barren celestial body slowly deteriorating, similar to a cosmic prune. Recent discoveries, however, have injected a burst of fascination into this lunar narrative. Over the past months and years, telescopes and probes have been hard at work, diligently uncovering a fascinating discovery near the lunar poles. Nestled within craters, a surprising twist awaits, a treasure trove of water ice. The once desiccated and withering moon, long held in parched esteem, is now challenging its dry reputation. It's as if hidden reservoirs of frozen water, defying previous assumptions, have transformed the lunar landscape. The revelation has sparked a buzz of curiosity. Everyone suddenly a buzz with questions about the ice that's chilling on the moon. Despite over 50 years of snooping around up there, this frosty surprise remained unnoticed until now. NASA is gearing up for the Artemis mission to shoot astronauts towards the moon's chilliest spots in the next decade. These space explorers will embark on a mission of their own to figure out if the moon's newfound water stash can be put to good use. What's the big deal with moon water? Humans on the moon, casually sipping moon water, plants kicking back on lunar soil, and fuel being cooked up right there on the lunar surface. Changi 5, the cosmic detective, throwing a curveball into our lunar daydreams. This rover uncovered something mind-blowing on that seemingly ordinary celestial ball we call the moon. Water, and not just a little bit. Here's the lowdown from the Chinese Academy of Sciences. They were messing around with drill samples from Chang'e 5 and stumbled upon a load of tiny glass particles. These little crystals likely leftovers from when meteorites crashed into the moon and maybe some comets hitched a ride, bringing water to the lunar party. This water is frozen at the poles, turning the moon into a cool, watery secret. The researchers took a good look at those impact glass beads, and hidden inside those beads was water. Each tiny bead only holds a bit of water, but when we put them all together, it's like a lunar water extravaganza. 2,000 parts water for every million parts in each crystal, nestled within every metric ton of lunar soil. That's a whopping 2,000 kilo of water under regular Earth conditions. But in a liquid form, it's like having 2,000 liters of water. It's like the moon has been hosting an epic lunar water party, and no one even knew about it. These glassy particles are probably scattered all over the moon, from the equator to the poles. When people eventually decide to venture to the moon, they won't have to make a beeline for the poles and deal with the hassle of icy water. They can find water pretty much anywhere on the moon. They're basically turning up the heat to uncover hidden water treasures. Moon dwellers can easily snag some fresh water wherever they decide to settle. Chinese researchers took it a step further and unraveled the story behind the water trapped in lunar crystals. Apparently, it's a gift from the sun, as its positively charged hydrogen atoms found their way into these glass beads, mingling with the oxygen inside. It's like the sun left a little water surprise for the moon. But these glass beads aren't just lounging around, they have a trick up their sleeve. When the sun's rays warm them up, they release some of that charged hydrogen. It's almost as if they're repaying the sun with a splash of what they received. Those fancy impact glass beads on the moon are like a gigantic water reservoir, holding a mind-blowing 298,700,000,000 short tons of water. The brainiest who keep tabs on this stuff dropped that knowledge bomb. Imagine moon settlers just chilling on a water gold mine. Back in 2010, NASA did some moon math and discovered that the North Pole alone was hoarding a whopping 661,400,000 short tons of water. Everyone used to think the moon was as dry as a bone, but turns out it's throwing its own little water party. Earth, our big blue home, boasts about 1.47 quintillion short tons of water. 
The moon stash is seriously impressive. We had dreams of giving those water-loaded glass beads a makeover, maybe a chemical or mechanical one, turning them into flowing streams. But alas, that's just a dream for now. The moon's like an ice queen. No chill, no atmosphere, and wild temperatures. It's practically a vacuum up there. Unlike Earth, it's not bustling with activity, and its magnetic field is like a sleepy kitten. Mars, on the other hand, used to be quite the water park. Signs of erosion tell tales of flowing liquid water, and there are grand schemes to turn its frozen water into a liquid wonderland. Imagine seas and lakes on the red planet, all thanks to a human-made greenhouse effect. But not everyone's on board with this bold plan. Some experts are skeptical, thinking it might be a bit far-fetched. It takes us to the moon, and not just any moon mission. The Chinese space probe brings back treasures from deep layers, a billion-year-old secret older than any Apollo samples. These glass beads reveal a two-billion-year journey of epic proportions. Colossal collisions with meteorites, asteroids, and comets, each impact packing a punch similar to the force that wiped out the dinosaurs 68 million years ago. The moon's glass beads, shimmering quietly, bear witness to an unimaginable cosmic drama, making them more than just souvenirs from space. It's a discovery that might just trigger a space race to the moon, with scientists eager to unveil its ancient mysteries. Despite its small celestial stature, the moon has faced global challenges with surprising strength. Scientists believe that the moon's ability to withstand these onslaughts is thanks to a combination of factors, such as its lightweight structure and a protective layer of thick dust. The moon's modest lunar orbit, though diminutive, has bravely endured the turbulence of its global existence, giving rise to peculiarities that may offer untold benefits in the future. It's as if the moon is a cosmic survivor, adorned with beads that narrate tales of celestial battles and victories over the years. In a recent discovery, Changi 5 stumbled upon a lunar treasure, a crystal that resembles the moon's own hidden gem. This crystal, a lunar version of a hidden treasure, it's the moon's secret, composed of a material previously unknown on Earth. When scientists laid eyes on this lunar bling, their minds were blown and words failed them. This crystal, as it turns out, is a game changer, possessing the key ingredient for nuclear fusion. What if we crack the secret to nuclear fusion and suddenly Earth's energy crisis vanished? Forget the bumpy ride on the nuclear fission roller coaster. It's been leaving us with a radioactive hangover. Nuclear fusion is this celestial dance where lighter atoms waltz together to create heavier ones, unleashing a ton of energy, way more than our old nuclear fishing expedition. For ages, physicists worldwide have been on a quest for this energy jackpot. It's been like chasing a cosmic unicorn. Getting the right mix of pressure and energy to make those atomic buddies fuse is a tricky tightrope walk. But what if the moon holds the key? Imagine stumbling upon a magical rock or tiny particle eager to join the fusion party. It's not wishful thinking, it's a reality check. A phosphate mineral, casually known as Changes at Y, props to the awesome mission and the Chinese moon goddess Changi. Researchers from Beijing are on a mission to find out if this mineral, possibly packed with fusion-ready helium-3, is the real deal for Earth. It's like uncovering a hidden treasure. We're teetering on the edge of a full-blown lunar gold rush, Spaceships are practically running a 24-7 lunar delivery service, shuttling moon rocks back to Earth. It's like our planet's catching a breather, courtesy of the Shanggu 6 mission, prepping for another lunar treasure hunt in 2024. Who knows what cosmic treasures they'll dig up from the far side of the moon? Earth could be in for some mind-blowing surprises. The buzz is real, and even NASA's got its eyes peeled. We're talking about snagging 27.6 short tons of helium-3. That's enough to light up the entire U.S. for a whole year. That's some serious moon magic, valued at a mind-blowing $3 billion per short ton. The moon's turning into the ultimate jackpot, a cosmic gold mine just waiting to be tapped. The Artemis program is getting a turbocharge from all this lunar frenzy. It's like the moon's transforming into a celestial hotspot. And we might be witnessing a new space race right under our noses. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.